In today's video, I brought you guys a great deal from the Superhive market. You will get 30 complete Blender courses made by some of the best instructors out there for just $30. And this is literally a dollar per course. The actual value of these courses combined is over $973, which is pretty wild. And these aren't just YouTube tutorials. These are full, project-based, pro-level trading from folks like CG Cookie, Taki 3D, Creative Shimp, and others. So without further ado, let's jump right in and see what you will get inside. We're gonna start with Core, which is a collection of night courses by different instructors. The first one is The Fundamentals of 3D Mesh Modeling by Jonathan Lampel. The course covers the foundational tools and concepts of mesh modeling in Blender teaching you how to create 3D shapes using points, edges, and faces. It emphasizes core modeling workflows, like selection techniques, mesh editing operators, topology basics, etc. The next one is Fundamentals of Digital Sculpting by Ken Trammell, and this one is a great introduction to digital sculpting in Blender, focusing on Blender sculpting mode and its intuitive, clay-like approach to modeling. This training walks you through the essentials of sculpting tools and brushes, like masking, posing tools, stroke methods, symmetry, dinotopo, remeshing, etc. The next course is called Fundamentals of Lighting by Kaizen 3D, which teaches one of the most important skills in 3D, that is lighting. It demonstrates how proper lighting can elevate your renders, because even the best models and environments can look bad with poor lighting, and this training will help you to do lighting properly. In a similar vein, we have the Fundamentals of Materials and Shading by Eva Warbeck. This one is a detailed training on creating materials and shaders in Blender, showing you how you can make your 3D models look realistic or stylized through proper surfacing. It starts with basics of materials and shader nodes, explaining how materials define your object's color, texture, and reflectivity, in addition to other things and how shaders compute light interactions, just as glass, transparency, shadows, etc. From the same instructor, we have this comprehensive introduction to texturing in Blender, in which you will learn full texturing workflows using shader nodes and texturing tools, and texturing slots, UV unwrapping your models properly, in addition to applying and painting texture maps, and leveraging physically based texturing techniques. Next, we have the Fundamentals of Animation by Phil. This course actually lays the groundwork for animation in Blender. It covers all the fundamental tools and techniques that you will need to start making things move, and you will learn how to set up keyframes, use the timeline and dope sheet, in addition to adjusting interpolation curves in the graph editor, and more things that you can learn. The next one is a thorough training that demystifies the art of rigging. It starts from the very beginning, which is understanding rigging and how it is needed to move 3D models, and then proceeding to show you how to do it step by step through building a functional character rig. The next course, called Fundamentals of Physics by Kenny, covers a wide range of dynamic simulations like rigid bodies, soft bodies, cloth, fluids, smoke and fire, particle systems, and dynamic painting effects and it will help you understand all that and how to apply them practically inside Blender. The last course in Core is called Fundamentals of Compositing by Sean Kennedy. This course teaches you how to use Blender Compositing Node System to tweak and enhance your renders after they've been rendered, giving you tremendous creative control. It shows you how to break a render into useful layers and passes, and then adjusting things like color, lighting, materials, and effects in 2D, without rendering the whole scene over and over again. Next up, we have B-City, which is a procedural city generator that teaches you how to build massive urban environments using geometry nodes, and this is especially a fun course if you are into geometry node workflows or want to create cities that are smart, procedural, scalable, and easy to tweak. The next one is called Beautifully Minimal Blender Projects. This is more design-focused, walking you through the process of making clean, aesthetic scene building, which is great for improving your artistic eye while still using lots of Blender tools and techniques. 
Also, one of the most valuable courses in this collection is called Human, which is all about realistic digital humans. So it is only logical that you will be learning sculpting, retopology, shading, and everything in between to make lifelike characters. So if portraits are your thing, this course is actually a gem. Moving on, we have Cubicity, which teaches you how to build your own asset libraries and actually use them efficiently in projects. It's one of those courses that saves you a lot of time down the road and can help you a lot to increase the speed of your workflow. Next up is CG Cookies Assemble, which is a creative geometry nodes deep dive. You will learn about building cool procedural objects and how to animate them, all without keyframes. So if you are into non-destructive setups and visual coding, you've got to learn to learn from this one. Next we have Blender Animation Bootcamp, which is a structured, hands-on course for anyone serious about learning character animation. This will cover timing, spacing, arcs, and more and essential animation principles applied directly in Blender. After that, we're gonna talk about Particles, which introduces you to simulation nodes through a beginner-friendly setup. You'll be learning how to draw particle systems with more control and flexibility than you will get from old-school particle systems, and this can give you a lot of freedom. Another interesting course is called Off-Road, which is a lot of fun. You will learn how to rig and animate a detailed RC monster truck, complete with bouncy suspension and terrain interactions. You will learn from this how to do real rigging and physics techniques. And if you're into trucks and off-roading, this will make it even better. When it comes to creating environments, there is this course called Create Realistic Industrial Environments with EV. This one is for those who want to create cinematic scenes without waiting on cycles and its long rendering times. You will learn how to build gritty, believable environments entirely in EV, focused on lighting, materials, and atmospheres that actually look good in real time. Moving on, let's talk about Pot Hat, hard surface character creation. In this one, you will model a fun little robot character from scratch, learning clean hard surface techniques along the way. It is a great blend of character design and mechanical modeling, and honestly, just a really cool project to build. Next up is Game Asset Workflow from Creative Shrimp, and this course walks you through the entire pipeline of making game-ready assets in Blender, from high to low poly baking to texturing with Substance Painter. So if you ever wanted to build assets like in AAA video games, this is a great one to follow step by step. Moving forward, we have Hard Surface Modeling in Blender, which is another Creative Shrimp course that focuses on creating sci-fi details, mechanical shapes, and clean panels using non-destructive workflow. It is procedural, and it will really help you level up your modeling skills. Another one I think you will find interesting is called Space VFX Elements, which is a core that dives into creating all the good cosmic stuff, like nebulas, explosions, planets, and glowing particles. And it will be all built inside the Blender, using volumetrics and shaders, it is surprisingly accessible, even if you've never done this stuff before. Also, one of the best courses out there is from Ducky3D, and it is called Intro to Geometry Nodes, which is a quick, clean introduction to building things procedurally in Blender using geometry nodes. You will learn how to make abstract shapes, looping animations, and all sorts of cool parametric setups. The next one is also from Ducky3D, and it is even better and it is called Intro to Motion Graphics. This one is all about building animated loops, dynamic transitions, and procedural effects using geometry nodes and shaders. It is beginner-friendly, and it can help you learn a lot of things. Next up, we have PostPro by TrueVFX, which focuses on making your renders look polished after they are done. And this course covers the Blender Compositor, in addition to color grading, glare, bloom, and subtle tricks to get your projects looking professional. On a different subject, we have another course called Rig Anything with Rigify, which helps you make sense of Blender's built-in auto-rigging system. It walks you through creating custom rigs for characters and creatures, tweaking bone layers, and setting up smart IK and FK systems. This makes it a solid guide for anyone who wants better control over their animations. 
Next on the deck is Blender for Modeling and Geometry Node Workshop by 3D Tutor. This one leans into Blender's four latest features with a focus on hard surface modeling and custom geometry node setups. You will create four objects, apply modifiers, and make your own node-based tools. The next one is Blender Creator Course, Stylized 3D Models. This one teaches you how to make clean, appealing, and stylized props with sharp silhouettes, soft lighting, and that hand-painted look, which is great for portfolio pieces, animation, or game assets. When it comes to architecture, we have this course called Architecture Masterclass by UH Studio. And this one is all about making architecture workflows and recreating them in Blender, from CAD imports and scale accurate modeling to lighting and presentation rendering. And the best part, it is taught by an architect, and he will show you everything you will need. Last but not least, we have Complete Beginner's Guide to Blender by Harry Helps. And this one is as straightforward as it sounds. It is made for absolute beginners and covers all the basic tools for modeling, materials, simple animation and rendering without overwhelming you. So guys, if you are interested in these courses, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And don't forget, this is a steal from almost $1,000 down to just 30 bucks. Thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.